So now we're going to demonstrate in a urban terrain the capabilities of the Vito Link 5G. On our camera rig here we have the standard 5 dB ducktail antennas uh, hooked to our transmitter and we have a second camera shooting our confidence monitor with receiver and we're going to do one long contiguous shot to show uh, no trickery, no editing that were how far we can go uh, with the Vitalink 5G. Now we're going to do a long range test and set up with the Vito Link 5G. You can see here we have our dual 23 dB high gain antennas. We have a piece of video cable and we have some RF connected cable here to connect the high gain antennas to the Vito Link 5G. So in order to put the high gain antennas on, we have to remove the 5 dB uh, standard gain antennas. And what we're going to want to mount, what's perfect about this is the, uh, the light stands or the tripods for the uh, high gain antennas have a quarter 20 screw on the top. So we can mount our receiver right on the tripod. Let me grab a battery. So like before, we can take our uh, lithium uh, high powered battery and clip it on here. These cables are a little longer than we need today, so we can wrap them around, connect one of them, connect one of them to the RF connection here. Then it's a good idea to have the two antennas a little bit spaced apart. You can aim them a little bit away. If you have a wider area you're going to cover, you can uh, aim, aim them a little bit apart. What we're going to do, we're going to connect everything up and then we're going to raise them 15 feet in the air. Uh, that'll give us better range, gets us over obstructions. So what I usually do is however long this RF cable will reach is how far apart I place them together. Okay. Then the other step before we raise them up is we want to hook our video cable to it because we put it 15 feet in the air we would need a ladder to reach the uh, video output. This is the receiver. Take a cable, connect to the video output. Now we can start raising up the tripods. Now we're, we're up on a pretty tall hill here, so we really don't need that much height, but we go like that. We're gonna we're gonna operate. 
right in the canyon below, which is pretty typical of a, your average setup. You know, you'd, you'd want to be on a hilltop adjacent to a golf course hole, let's say, if you're doing golf. If you're in a sports stadium, you'd want to be, you know, in the press area or on the rim of the of the venue or the bowl. So you want to kind of be above the action, aiming the antennas down. So I'm not going to go too high. This way I can reach the uh, uh, the power the power jacks. I'm going to move this one over a little bit to give us a little better coverage. Now this one, since we don't have electronics on it, I could go higher with this one. So you can see here, these stands go pretty high. Want well, to be careful of the wind. It's a little windy today. output of our receiver and look into the input of our monitor. So right now I haven't turned on the receiver yet. The, the startup procedures is to turn the camera on the transmitter on first, get all the link lights on on the transmitter, then once that's uh, all set and ready to go, then you turn the receiver on last. That's the usual procedure. Transmitter on first, receiver on second.
Stay tuned for more Vidovation informational videos.